Hey everybody, Gunner and Bird's Empty Room here. We're here with another Chronicles. It's We're just calling it that now because, you know, technically quarantine kind of doesn't exist. It's more of a recommendation than a mandate, blah, blah, blah. But yeah, hey, he's back. He was taking a poop. So yeah, I just started it, man, like 20 seconds ago. Yeah, I couldn't get it out. Too much cheese. <laughs> <laughs> okay. So, yeah, as you can tell, like, well, you, you can see now, like, we just got done filming a Christmas episode, and Bird being at his house, and me being at my house, he has the free will to just roam in and out of frame, as he fucking's been doing all through that episode. So, <laughs> that's fun. <laughs> so, anyway, what's going on, dude? I know we just talked for, like, 45 minutes about a thing, but... Well, you know, same old, same old. <laughs> well, before you lose your mind and just start going off on some shit, right? First, we should say we hope our American friends had a small and safe Thanksgiving. Yeah, we and can... we hope everybody else is doing well as well. But you know, yeah. <laughs> so, how was your small Thanksgiving? Uh, it was okay, you know. Uh, uh, some some things happened that I'll I'll tell you afterwards. You know, uh, just okay. Just, just tell you after. But uh, you know, but, I'm curious now. Something you won't talk about on here. <laughs> <laughs> but uh, you know, it was just here. You know, we were just us, like the family. You know, like my parents, my brothers, and stuff. That was it. But um, yeah. That was about it. That was uh, that was the, uh, you know, Jamie had of course had to stay home because she didn't feel good, you know, uh, not the COVID, thank God. Um, but uh, yeah, that was about it. Uh, I, I I saw on Facebook all kinds of people posted like, I don't care what they say, I'm having the biggest family, and then they had like the the guidelines like no singing, no loud talking, and of course everybody was like they took that as a cue. To be like, I'm gonna sing as loud as I want. I'm gonna scream as loud as I want. Dee, dee, dee. You know, uh, <laughs> I was just like, okay, whatever. I was so like, you... so, so I, I was like, well, no, I was just saying, you know, they were so worried about what Halloween was gonna do to us as far as the backlash of, you know, uh, people getting sick and blah blah. I was like, well, imagine the amount that's gonna take place after Thanksgiving. With the amount of people that just totally ignored guidelines, they didn't give a damn. They just, I'm going flying. I'm going to have the biggest family get together, you know. Well, dude, and Black Friday, like, I know a lot of stores, you know, weren't doing stuff, but a lot of stores still were. And there were fucking people everywhere. Like, my work was busy as fuck. <sighs> it's like, it's, <laughs> it's not going to be whatever. Well, fuck it ever. You know, you, you, you all motherfuckers know our thoughts uh, thoughts uh, on that. Yeah. You know our thoughts and thoughts on that. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah, yeah. But anyway, but, back to Thanksgiving real quick, though. Because I, I talked to you a little bit on Thanksgiving. You were talking about the Macy's parade. And it's like, yeah, man. How fucking weird was, like, I only watched, like, five minutes of it. I couldn't do it. I only did it on YouTube's thing. But, like, yeah, I watched... 80s parade instead yeah thank god you did because all it was was just basically it was like cringy cringy things that were taking place like it was like at one point they said like Atlantis Morris set jagged pill and i'm like oh cool Atlantis Morris set now now it was four douches three on a couch and one on the back of the couch and they were like having a conversation but in this verse of like jagged little pill you know like, don't you think it's ironic? Uh, don't you think? You know, and they're talking to each other. And I'm like, oh my god, it's horrible. You know, well, and then the lip singing. Of course, you know, Jamie. As much as she talks shit, she's like, you know, like oh, because I'm, I'm she hates when I watch these things. I just tear them apart. You know, and like some girl comes on with bright blue hair. You know, and she's doing the lip sync. Sounds just like Britney Spears and shit from the '90s. I'm like, this is not new. This is not. I, what is the shit plays at like the fucking grocery store and she's like no you just don't understand it's the hit song and i'm like uh no it's not i've never heard of it i never seen it on the radio 
this is the first time I'm seeing this chick. I don't know her, never even heard of her name before. They're like the hit Disney sensation. <laughs> blah, 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 blah. That's like in boxing games. They always have somebody come out and they're gonna sing the national anthem and they're like a uh, five-time Grammy winner. Uh, blah, 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 blah. Because you never heard of this fucker. You're like, what? They got like five yeah. Grammys? I've never even heard of this person. And then they start singing, and you're like, they fucking suck. How the hell did he get five Grammys? I guess you just give Grammys away for nothing, you know? But that's funny, because it's like you fucking sit there, you're talking about Jamie fucking, like, she hasn't come to terms with it yet, because Trish has come, just, she just accepts my fucking taking down of everything we fucking watch. No, no, ten years in, she's still expecting me to just come out of my shell and be a completely different person. It's not going (laughs) to happen. You know what I mean? Like, I've been a cocoon forever, and she's waiting for this butterfly. That's never going to appear. It's just an angry old fucking worm inside a cat. <laughs> well, maybe maybe she's waiting for the angry butterfly to go back in its cocoon, like back in its shell. Yeah, like, maybe. go back in your shell. Go back in your shell. But that's what kills me. Anybody that sits there and says, like, oh, keep me so angry. Why are you so angry? Well, first off, you'd have to follow me all to my childhood to be you know to get like you know a little insight of why i'm so angry but then like <laughs> then you got to take the no, the times of now you know these are not normal times and if you're functioning normally well then there's something fucking wrong with you you're either a cyborg or completely cut off emotionally well i mean we're all functioning as normally as we can but i'm sure there are quite a few people that it's mentally taking its toll on like it is on us. Like healthcare workers that everybody seems to not give a fuck about. Yeah. They swear I love they, You're they, heroes, they, but you're heroes, but you know, we're not gonna, you know, help you or do anything or, or care. Or, yeah, it's just like I love thoughts that. Thoughts and prayers. Thoughts and prayers. Yeah, you're heroes, but fuck you. That's like, sure. that's like that's like veterans, you know, we're always like, you know, all veterans, 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 you know, and like my restaurant, I'm sure others, you know, all veterans, come on in, get a free cookie. Yeah. You know what I mean? It's just like, yeah. yeah, yeah, you, you ran over the trenches, you watched your buddy get his fucking face blown off, you know what I mean? You fought the good fight, you went over there, you fought for the country, you did all this stuff. You all this horrible shit happened to you. Here's a cookie. Here's well, wasn't the wasn't the trenches World War One? Do you have many World War One vets coming into your restaurant? I mean, I could be wrong, but I just use trenches because trenches are in every war, aren't they? Yeah, they call them foxholes in fucking Vietnam. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. yeah. Whatever. The point is. Obviously not World War One dudes, because then I'd be like, "Whoa, how the fuck are you still alive?" You know, but like, but no, but like, you know what I mean? Like, we but we do that. We're so condescending. We're like, "Yeah, you did this huge sacrifice. Here's a cookie." <laughs> you know what I mean? Well, because because that's like, well, a little explanation is because Bird's fucking restaurant, the corporate restaurant or whatever, the the chain restaurant he works at. They're famous for their cookies. Cookies, yeah. But no, we're, no, we're not. No, we're not. Don't fucking lie like that. We're not. We're not famous for our cookies. I mean, people might buy them, but they don't fucking like them. Okay, they taste <laughs> like shit. They're hard as a rock. I mean, the fucking the minute they come out the oven, you could basically bust it over a table. You know what I mean? Like, there's no fucking. I've seen people bite into them, and go, oh fuck, you know, ah, like they just chip the tooth. So no, no. Like, I, I get it, like, it's the thing that they do and stuff, but yeah. it's not like, you know, it's something that they forced on people, you know? Yeah, yes, yeah, right. They take like shit, but it's our thing. Yeah, true that. Yeah, you're definitely right about it. It's like, they made, they pushed it so fucking hard to make they it their like thing. Food. They work there. They're, they taste like shit. There's no well, fucking yeah. thing. Well, see, dude, Trish loves them. I think she's been hypnotized like all these other people, but it's like, I can stand one every once in a while, but they're not great. Dude, I can give two fucks what Trish likes. She likes Jersey Shore and fucking 90 Day Fiance. Whatever she likes is obviously askew. Well, yeah, obviously. She married me, so. But I'm just saying. 
But you're just naming shit besides the marrying me part. Stuff she hasn't wa- stuff she hasn't watched it like ever because like I said, we don't have cable anymore, so that's not available to us. You're still her worst decision. <laughs> well, yeah. Um, dude, I am not fucking arguing that at all. I mean, besides just the look of this, ugh. <laughs> you know, she inherited you. She inherited, like, my love of bad movies and, like, just everything. She inherited everything that came with me, and I'm sorry. I'm sorry. He's still trying to come to terms with inheriting me, but, you know. <laughs> but yeah, I, you know. Yeah, it comes with it. You should have, when you ever you signed the prenup, it's like, bird comes too, you know. Well, dude, <laughs> Time, by the time we got married, she was already well aware of that because we were doing the fucking public access show stuff. So she was already well aware that, yeah, you're there all the time. Well, not all the time, but like you're never going away. Yeah, you're like you herpes. Can, you're, you you might not be, dude. You're like herpes. You might not be there all the time, but you're not going I'll, away. I'll, I'll eventually be back. <laughs> 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 yeah, Ugh. speaking of not going away and being just like herpes, like you know, uh Trump sitting at his tiny tiny desk. You know, it's like yeah. there's there's no clue, there's no fraud anywhere at any stage, but I keep pushing it. <laughs> it's like, dude, like how many Trump appointed judges are gonna tell him now how many lawyers are gonna be like, now I'm not taking this case. Besides the Sydney Powell crazy bitches that are like, there's uh, aliens in my brain. Well, dude, don't you just love how you can go to her website and directly fucking donate money to her? Just here. We're not even making it up that it's for something. It's just straight to her. Straight to her. Yeah. It's like, yeah, well, look, hey, whatever, man. I don't feel bad for people that give their money to people like that or, you know, those TV evangelists. I don't, you know, if you're stupid enough to give your away your life savings to... <laughs> You know, the chick that's going, and strike and strike and strike and strike. If you're going to give all your money to her, by all means, dude, give it away. You know, if you're going to give your money to Crazy Eyes, Copeland, you know, COVID-19. Like, if you're going to give your money to him, I don't know. (laughs) Yeah, dude, my beat. Ha, ha, ha. They say Biden is president. Ha, 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 ha. Oh, my God. It's really just pathetic and sad to watch, you know, at this point. I mean, what's he going to do? Like, if they, if the Electoral College, you know, obviously what they're going to do is Biden's going to get the election, which, you know, he won legitimately. You see Pennsylvania, like all these Republican fucking senators and their Pennsylvania senators trying to, like, they just want to get rid of all the electoral fucking people and get hire all new ones or something. It's just like... Stop it. Stop it, Pennsylvania. Stop it. Yes. You're my stop. home state. Please. Stop being idiots. Stop yes. being fucking dickheads. Just stop it. Like Pennsylvania, we know your ass backwards. You pride yourself on being so. Please don't do this because it's the end of everything. You know, you might as well take that Liberty Bell and chuck it in the fucking river. Yeah. You might as well just take the Constitution and wipe your goddamn ass with it. You know, and pretty soon you might have to because everybody took all the toilet paper. Well, dude, I haven't like, yeah, whatever. I was say I haven't. I'm just going to walk in the darkness now. Do, 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 do darkness. Do, 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 do. I guess so, like, like people like you can't you can't be this hypocritical man and then expect people not to call you out, you know? Like in 2016, they went nuts when Hillary waited a day, a day, a day. She didn't say nothing about taking it all the way to the Supreme Court. She didn't have Rudy out there with his head leaking, you know, making <laughs> true that. You know what I mean? She didn't do any of that. She could have done that. She could have done that. And it would have looked really bad on her. Really bad, you know, but she didn't. But guess who is? And all, all the people, all his followers that that were bitching and screaming at everybody, calling everybody snowflakes and crybabies and this and that, completely turn around, and now they're doing the crybaby thing, you know? And they're like, well, now... Because, oh. Well, dude, because they have... They're fucking... 
Dawn's the fucking king of crybabies. He freaked out recently because people were calling him Diaper Dawn. And I say, fuck that. His nickname, his name should be Death Toll Dawn. That's what I say. Death Toll Dawn? Why Death Toll Dawn? Because of all of the people that have died that could have maybe not died if he would have done something? Maybe? Hold on. We got uh, As we speak, we have a toilet paper emergency. <laughs> <laughs> okay. Jack! Hi! I can't really see you. <laughs> well, yeah, well, you're all short. <laughs> I can see you popping in and out. Yeah, I'm trying to... Tell, tell Chuck what you came down here to get. I was just trying to get a juice box, but we ran out! No, no, well, you gotta take up the pump. Yeah, I had to get toilet paper. <laughs> 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 yeah. We're already <laughs> running out for toilet paper! Yeah, that's right, because somebody poos too much. Go on. And Would that person cheese. be you? It's not me. I just explained the cheese. Well, dude, but you just came from the bathroom, so that means you used the last of the toilet paper and left it empty, didn't you? You're a dickhead, aren't you? No, I remember I couldn't go. There was cheese. <laughs> well, I figured that was just you being fucking, you know, joking around. No, I ate too much cheese and backed up. i got to stop. I'm gonna have to well, go. We really do talk about everything, don't we? Oh, who cares? You know, like we're not hiding. Everybody, everybody poops. I'm outside screaming that. Everybody does poop, but I, mean, I swear I'm gonna have to go up and eat like a brand muffin dipped in coffee just to get this stuff rolling. Okay. Lives, go upstairs. Kill Daddy him. wants to curse. <laughs> I'm gonna yell like that in front of her. You're not supposed to know daddy's crazy. So, I don't know, dude. What? It's almost the I, I gotta ask you again. Like, oh, and today at, at work, I heard the Christmas music and I totally shut it out. It started pouring in. It's the most wonder. And I all of a sudden it just went. Blah, 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 blah. <laughs> Because I cut it out. I was like, get it out of my head, Reverend. Well, see, I feel bad for you because at Bird's Restaurant, he has to listen to the music that's piped into the restaurant. So it's all just generic crap. And it's, so, no, like, it's the same generic crap they've been looping for five plus years. I've heard Sarah McLaughlin more times than I want to know. You know, <laughs> like seriously, Arms of an Angel. I just want to kill myself every time I hear it. I want to put the knife in and take it around and just spill my guts out onto the fucking fryer and just sit there and cook up my guts into an omelet, flip the omelet, fold it like, you know what I mean? Like put my guts in the omelet, yeah, yeah. Fold, put my other innards on top of that because of the toppings, put that on a plate and just walk it out to the table, blast it onto the thing. And they'll look at it with my innards in the home omelet, and they'll be like, no home fries? <laughs> so, yeah, dude, just think, while you're sitting there, while the Christmas music at my place is playing, they have the leg lamp out, all the waitresses have to wear their fucking, you know, holiday fucking shirts, whatever, but, like, yeah, dude, while you're sitting there listening to Christmas music at work, while I'm in the back doing my prep stuff, I was listening to the Misfits and Run the Jewels, and all that shit today while you were listening to It's the Most Wonderful Time of the Year. Face it. Like, everybody is just huh? like, first off, everybody's waiting to get shut down. You know? So, like, yeah, all, pretty much. That's going to happen soon because we've been dead for the, for the most part. But, like, for, 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 besides Not that, us. besides that, um, well, yeah, because you have that name. And all well, the I'm telling you, that's yeah. not. That's the not. They, just, they, they gravitate to your restaurant. I don't get but, any of them anymore. You're getting all of them. But also, today it was dead, but I know why. It was like me and you were talking in the other video. It might be in the outtakes, it might not. I don't remember. But we were talking about how. Black Friday, we were busy as fuck because, you know, nobody wants to follow the goddamn recommendations of not congregating with people, right? So we were busy as fuck today 
being the first day of buck season, dead as fuck. So that's what they should fucking do, dude. Wolf and fucking Dr. Levine should come out and just be like, hey, we're just going to make it hunting 24-7 for two months. Have at it. Yeah, and then we yeah. then we wouldn't have to worry about it because so you know we'd be able to easily fucking social distance and everything at work. Yeah, they'd be like, "Listen, fellas, for two months you'll be able to hide in the woods and ignore your wife and family for two yeah. months. You know, drink all the beer you want, hang out in that tree stand as long as you want, get the most disgusting tree camo you can find." Oh, ooh, dude! Speaking of work today, dude, this dude who came into work today. He was in a bright orange shirt. He wasn't, I don't think he was a hunter. If he was, he already was back for the day, but he was with his fucking wife or girlfriend or whatever. But he had the most luxurious mullet ever. Like, I mean, not ever. I mean, there's some, like, you know, what's his name? Fucking, um, oh, God damn it. Why can't I think of his name? Fucking Leatherface. Oh, 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 yeah. Oh, yeah. fuck. Gunnar Hansen. Hey, Gunnar hey. Hansen had a better mullet. But this dude, it was all luxurious and everything else. Right, so I go up to the one waitress that was doing his table, and I'm like, "Dude, I can't stop staring at your table's fucking luxurious mullet." She's like, "He's a fucking asshole." I guess the dude was all hardcore dick, basically like waiting, you know, like how he was like, "She'll have this," and blah blah blah. And yeah, you know, just that. Yeah. I was like, "Oh, it figures." I mean, I was assuming just looking at him, I was like, "I know he's an asshole." It's 2020, and you still got a mullet that looks like that in 2020. You're an asshole. It's like, eh, it's my wife's, me and my wife's anniversary. Go and get her a diet coke. I really, I really wish I didn't have to see the dining room, dude. Like, it just enrages me anymore. Like, every time I see somebody just walk in, mask or not, I'm just like, why are you coming in here? I mean, yes, I'm aware that's what's paying me my wage, right? But still. I need a, I need a cigarette, too, so I'm going to take you with you. Okay. But yeah, I, I I I can't understand that either myself. Um, I mean, your place, the people come in there without masks, like constant. Hey, look at it. The Every giant, time the, the giant whoopee cushion. <laughs> cool, but like, yeah, I mean, not like not like a million people, but still, like, there's like some every like I'm only there three days a week. But like all three of those days, I at least see one or more tables, no mask. All right, prepare yourself. No, no swearing in front of the child. Okay. So, Mister Rogers. Oh, look at this preciousness right here. Look at that hair. Look at it. Oh, good God. Uber bugs hiding in that thing. So yeah, being that it's almost December, you. I don't know. Have any enthusiasm for like decorating or doing anything of any sort? I put lights on my railing. Well, I mean, we can, we can't really put lights out besides that one snowman thing. But like, yeah, I don't know, man. I don't want to deal with any of it. I don't want to deal with the fucking putting up of the tree. I don't want to deal with any of it. And you gotta love the fact with it being like you know. Basically, winter time. It's dark as fuck already, and it's already depressing as hell. Trees are no leaves. It's just, it's starting to be gray all day, almost like how it is through January through like you know March. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> well, you know what? They said it's supposed to snow soon, which is kind of cool. I'd, I miss seeing snow. Yeah, I mean, yeah, I mean, I like snow as well. But wait a minute, fuck you! You're the one that's always complaining about it's cold. Yeah, it's December and it's cold. It shouldn't be cold. I didn't say I like standing in the shit or driving in it. I just said I like to see it. <laughs> so you just like to like look out and be like, okay, it's snowing. Oh, I gotta go out now. Blah. Mm -hmm. I gotta drive to work now in the fucking snow up a million, up and down a million hills because, you know, being in a fucking goddamn valley that we're in, it's always awesome having to drive up and down and around hills and everything else. Oh. Do you think they're going to cancel the NFL season because all these players getting sick? How the fuck do I know, dude? I just know that game got, like, moved again or something, right? They're tied. Is it because, like, all the Ravens players got, well, not all of them, but a good portion of them got COVID. And, um, well, 
didn't that one coach, someone, <laughs> some Steeler coach, have COVID now or something? I don't know. I just no, saw it on my news thing. <laughs> I don't know about a coach, <clears throat> but I know uh, James Conner, our running back. Yeah, I don't know. They said yeah, I just saw it was scrolling through my news app. So dude, yeah, Connor, like seriously, Connor, like hasn't he suffered enough? The dude, the cancer survivor, like COVID. You can go, like, leave him alone. <laughs> you know, take somebody else. I know nothing about that dude at all. So I mean, yeah, I don't know. I. Uh, he's a good dude, for what I've cool. seen. I don't know. <laughs> uh, yeah, he he had a. I don't know what cancer he had, but he had a battle with it. But anyway, yeah, I heard him, but um, I don't know about anybody else. But yeah, yeah, it's war. It's it's scary because you know, uh, if everybody seems to be catching this fucking thing. <laughs> well, yeah, because you know nobody's trying to do anything to not. I just don't want to take any chances. You know, well, I don't know to take a that's chance. Why- that's why we're here, like doing right. it like this for how fucking long, Terry? <laughs> I know Terry's not going to be there, but Terry should always be there. And you I, know? I, I see, dude, it's going to be a whole. Uh, we're going to be doing this for a whole other fucking month, man. At least to like, it's going to only get worse because of Thanksgiving just happening and everything else. Terry's like a little angel on your shoulder. He's always there. You know, when you're staying in a long line, you know, like, how long is this line, Terry? <laughs> <laughs> but like, yeah, like, dude, I said we're going to be doing Skype throughout December and, you know, through probably like first part of January. Because like I said, like, people are fucking assholes and just, yeah, I don't want to yeah. fucking endanger you. I don't want you endangering, like. At the here or any Trish's fucking residence from you know whatever so yeah and other people just don't care at all yeah so if you're like oh, I hate them doing Skype well blame the assholes yeah I mean I kind of hate us doing Skype but you know it is what it is we you know it's what we gotta fucking do you know we gotta do it for now we'll be yeah. back we um but yeah, you know, like, hey, what the hell? Got to do what you got to do. And I enjoy at least the like, you know, the doing the having an extra video release that is these chronicle things, you know. So that's always the one plus of Skype things. Yeah. I mean, even if it's just rambling fucking bullshit, it's just another fucking video, you know, that takes no effort <laughs> or anything else. Honestly, that's usually what it is—just rambling bullshit. But well, I'm that, tired. that is what it is. I'm tired of rambling. I'm gonna get off now. I got nothing else anyway. Okay. But uh, let's hope for better days for everybody. Yeah, well, I'm sure we'll do another one of these probably on Tuesday, probably. Yeah. But right. uh, yeah. Hopefully, in all seriousness, I hope everybody is safe. <laughs> And yeah, good. Sure. If you're watching us right now, I hope you're good and safe. No bullshit. Yeah. So, yeah, let's end this on a good note, man. I know that doesn't happen a lot recently, but yeah, it's like we really do hope that you're all fucking safe and everything's going really good for y'all motherfuckers out there. Yeah, that's for real. So, anyway. yeah, let's just end it before we bitch. <laughs> yeah, right. <laughs> before we get back in there. <laughs> All right. All right. I'll talk to you later. All right, dude.